<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're going to start diving on into the graphs of log functions. Now, remember, we have already said that the logarithmic function is the inverse of the exponential function. So the goals of this video are to look at the characteristics of a logarithmic function and have the opportunity all right to graph a logarithmic function as well too so what i want you to do is we kind of open it on up think about some expectations for the graphs of the logarithmic function is i want you to fill out what you think the domain the range the intercepts increasing decrease the asymptotes and continuity is so on and so forth or what i call the general characteristics for a logarithmic function with base A. So do me a favor, pause the video, challenge yourself, see if you guys can find what the domain, the range, the intercepts, so on and so forth are of the logarithmic function with base A before I reveal each of these. So do it, pause the video now. So what'd you guys come on up with? What'd you think? What about the domain? Well, think about it. We know it's the inverse of our exponential function. Well, the exponential function had a domain of negative infinity to infinity. So the inverse of a negative new infinity to infinity domain should look at the range of the exponential function. The domain of our inverse is the range of our original. So we should be looking at a domain from zero to infinity because that was the range of our exponential function. Well, the range of our inverse should be the domain of the original. So the domain of the original is infinity to infinity. It should hold true for our range, and it does. Well, what about the intercepts? Well, once again, think about it. We didn't have any x-intercepts for our exponential function. We didn't have any because that was our asymptote, right? So for our inverse, where do you think we're not going to have this time? You guessed it. We're not going to have any y-intercepts. So instead, we have the complete opposite on the x-intercept at 1, 0. All right. The logarithmic function, is it increasing or is it decreasing? Are those values getting bigger and bigger or less and less? Well, hopefully we can see that if we go from negative infinity to infinity, Infinity on our range, and we're going to be seeing some increasing values. What about our asymptotes? Well, remember what we said before the exponential function, the exponential function had an asymptote at the x-axis. Well, now we are specifically saying it's the inverse, so we should be ex expecting an asymptote at the y-axis, and it is still continuous as well, too. The graph here is our general form for log base A of X specifically, okay? So what does this, um, I guess, kind of look like when we're dealing with our um, exponentials? Well, actually, let's, let's kind of look into the exponential um, side of things with our natural log. So here is our basic characteristics of our logarithmic function. And in, uh, in just a sec, we're going to look on into how the exponential natural base and the logarithmic natural function are coincided. And we'll see how much that they are alike. So uh, our natural logs, all right, natural logs. Now, the natural log is just simply understanding that the base of the logarithm is the natural base of E, okay, is the natural base of E. That's all that this actually does come to say, okay? So that's what I want you to kind of think in there. So uh, what I want you to do is to see what you can come on up with. I say prove that Y equals the natural log of X and X equals E to the Y are equivalent, okay? So what I want you to do is we'll go over this first thing. Is I want you to try to prove that these are, in fact, equivalent to one another. All right? Give it a shot. We're going to go on over it first thing. All right. 
so let's keep pushing forward. So as I said, I want to look into the graphs of the natural logs to show the relationship between logs in general and the exponentials. So we said they are inverses of each other. All right. So let's dive on into what does the natural log function look like. So what you see here on the screen now, the blue function is our natural log. And uh, for whatever reason or another, it tends to sometimes, depending on how you have your calculator formatted, uh, it doesn't continue all the way on down. So do please imagine that this blue does keep going down and approaches the y-axis all the way down to negative infinity. Okay? The red function we have here, guys, is e to the x because the natural log of x and e to the x, they should be inverse functions. All right. Now, should be. They are. So what I wanted to show here, guys, is that these are, in fact, inverses. So what does it mean in terms of a graph to be an inverse? What is the characteristics happening here? Well, if you remember correctly, the inverse of a function should specifically, in this example, be a reflection over, remember which line? Ah, hopefully remember that it's a reflection over y equals x. So the black line that we just created. Now those are complete reflections over that line specifically. And this holds true for log of base a of x and a to the x as well too. So I wanted to show that relationship there specifically. Okay. All right, guys and gals, that is going to wrap up this short video on graphing and looking into the characteristics of logarithms and natural logs. In the next video, we're going to start diving into some properties of logs and of natural logs, finding some evaluations, and diving on into some characteristics of their graphs on your own. On to the next one.